The lives that drip slowly. Oversight, Duitsu, Names Junkie, Spock, Dream, Mimi Dixon is keeping season Mac and Ponder's pocket. This is the reality begins. There is nothing. Yo, yo, Josh, I was seeing something. What what if you and Miss Keepin had a fucking baby? Like that. <laughs> you already know the vibes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's your boy. I'm Drake, by the way, the rapper, of course. Yes, sir. <laughs> rapper Atlas. Let's talk about shipping. We live in a world where inspiration and creativity is drawn by celebrities and creators, but let's take this back. Before I dive in and go off to my own liking, I'd like to say this has nothing to do with shipping fictional characters. There's nothing wrong with having your fandoms around shows and literature. That shit is cute as hell, bro. Just go off. As long as it's not like, you know, little kids and shit. But, you know, obviously there's toxicity to it sometimes, but that's not what I'm here to talk about at all. Sometimes shipping and the art of relationships can come with real people. And this is what's made me uncomfortable. I collab with a lot of people. Some recents would be my own artist, Kaden Neal, then Duitsu, and if we're talking music related, a collab EP with Naku Sash was keeping. I work with a lot of the same people because I'm comfortable with them and we're all good friends. Me and Duitsu, though, got shipped a lot earlier this year. Now, I'm single and openly gay, and she publicly has a boyfriend. But this isn't just about me. Millie Bobby Brown and Finn Wolfhard, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie. Fandoms can be fucking crazy. Obviously, you have your creators that you love and you have your celebrities that you love, but sometimes fandoms go a little bit over the head where they do things that are to the least bit questionable. You have your art, you have art that's a little bit more explicit, eh? or we should call it porn. Will I get demonetized for that? I hope not, because I had some Taco Bell earlier and I kind of want to get some more eventually, so. But anyway, you can have basic just harassment, really, when it comes to shipping real people. This is especially avid with Jacksepticeye and Markiplier, who've been shipped more times than Hasbro Hotel's been shat on. Fans shipping them got so extreme to where they were even scared to be seen together, in public, at all. And this is also quite evident with Dan and Phil if you know them. And don't even get me started about shipping real people when it comes to the K-pop industry. Just, just don't. Do not. Do not do this. Don't do this. I don't even understand why this has to be discussed or told, because I figure it'd be common sense. These people have real lives, personal relationships, and from personal experience, that can affect how I feel about another person that I know. Being shipped with people or friends that you've worked with just makes me really uncomfy. And honestly, just scares me a little bit, as it affects my relationship with said person. I'm not calling any names, but the Joker character that appears in my videos. Him and I have been shipped together, and not only are they straight, but we've been homies since like 4th grade. But I shouldn't even have excuses for that. It's just really weird. The type of shit has levels to it. If you go past the point of casually shipping people and drawing fan art, plus the extreme fan art, you get to the point where fan fiction is avid, and that's just... No. And when I say fan fiction, I'm not talking about the ones where it's like, oh, What's up, homie? Yo, what's up, big dog? Let's be superheroes and destroy the city. I don't even know why this has to be discussed. Because, like I've said before, beyond the screens and the online characters and shit, these are all real people with real lives. And these people know each other in their personal lives. You don't do these things. With Finn Wolfhard, for example, him and his co-star, I forgot their name, but you'll see it right here. They had to ask th for them to stop shipping each other. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's give back a rest, please. I sound like it's making me uncomfortable or anything, because it's not, but it's just like kind of annoying, because I mean, guys, I don't have a gay relationship with Finn. We all know that. You know, that's a joke. I just don't understand why. Forcing your ideas and fantasies on real people is creepy as fuck and you shouldn't do it. Especially if the people in question show a negative reaction towards it, or they're just generally uncomfortable. I mean, I'd figure it'd be just common sense not to do it. If they're already in a relationship or something, obviously art is fine, but going past and drawing straight up fucking NSFW or writing sexual fanfiction about them, that's an easy no cigar. Look, if you love your characters, and you love your fantasies, and you love your fictional stories about fictional characters, you could do that. There's nothing wrong with that. I love that shit. I love that shit. But with real people, 
celebrities, creators, don't, don't do it. Literally the only exception is if like, they say they like it or something, or if they're like, oh, this is cool. I, I mean, if they approve of it, which I've never seen happen, but if they approve of it, then I guess it's fine. Go ahead, sure. But I'm talking general majority here. Don't do this. I love you. Can you guys What would we do? Uh, chew ice. <laughs>